hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can create the checkout page so now let's add uh, other functionality and improve this uh, card holder field so in the previous video i added this in the label and uh, let me add this in the input so it will behave like uh, bootstrap form control and uh, make this full yes so now it's uh, uh capture the full place right so now the time is to display the plan name and its price that a user uh, it will uh, we will show the user that to uh, which plans you are uh subscribing so let's go here and uh, add this at the top so in the span i'm going to display in the bold your subscription your subscription is and uh, here you need to specify your plan name right it's a plan we are passing this from view and uh, i want to display the name so let's give it a refresh and uh, and yes it's uh, looking cool and uh, here you can also make this upper case so i want to you can also make this uh, through styling but we are in the full span so it will also make this full so i want to make this only this one so that's why i'm going to use the backend helper so str to upper it's a php native function right so give it a refresh and it's uh, yes now it's displaying good okay so now the time is to display its price so i want to display its price uh, corresponding to this right so price would be the plan price okay and i want to make this so uh, let me style it should be a float to right i want to display it and the right side and after this i want to uh, break line okay give it a refresh and take eye on it and yes now it's displaying this and it's displaying this so uh, it's price right so let me uh, get the pound symbol and we are going to display the pound with this 19 okay so i'm going to display this here so let me remove this space and give it a refresh so it will also display the pound symbol with price so price is dynamically coming okay great so now we are getting the plan name and this one so now the time is to pass this uh, plan id to the stripe and uh, uh, process this right so let me make this uh, button process okay process subscription great okay so i want to also make this on the new line it's attached with this uh, top field okay so i want to pass the plan id here so input i'm adding a hidden input here right so let me add this here so name this plan id and i'm going to pass this id pass this a uh, value so which one value i want to pass this a uh, plan and this plan contain the plan id so i'm passing this a uh, plan id and stripe know that this plan contain how much price so it will automatically check that this uh, plan contain 19 so we don't need to pass this 19 because stripe already know that Uh, this plan id if this plan id does not exist in the stripes it will show us an error message so we are catching this error so uh, if you are not familiar with this one how to catch the error so i get this uh, error page and uh, full this uh, checkout page from this blog so you can copy the simple blade file from there and this is uh, exactly catching all of the errors so it's uh, it's uh, this one right so you can also grab the plan and show them so i'm not going to do this because i'm displaying is as uh, my preferences okay so this one is a plan id so we need to pass this plan id to our uh, process subscription so we are sending this so let me uh, make a route first so here i want to process this subscription 
you can we are already working on the uh, saying that it's a plan so let's plan make this plans process okay and uh, here you need to type the subscription controller okay i'm um, misspell it because i will copy this after the completing this so here i'm going to make this uh, process process subscription okay subscription okay and uh, i'm going to name this uh, process uh, plan dot process okay it would be a uh, plan dot process i don't know i'm building this uh, styling and stuff like that and it takes too much time okay so don't be panic process plan so let's go here it's a post route not get route so make this post and in the let's go to the subscription controller it's not going into the subscription so let me find this manually so it's a subscription controller this one and here i need to create this uh, method public uh, function and then this function contain this one okay so here i want to return request and request all so in the parameter i want to accept this uh, request object and then a request okay so we are returning this here so let's go here go to the checkout and uh, yes css rf is added so let me add this at the top okay so we are passing plan id it's uh, amount uh, we don't need this amount field because it will uh, stripe will get this from plan id cardholder name and some other things right so we are also not to so here we need to pass our action so what is the route name so we created it right now it's a plan dot process right this one so let's go here and give it a refresh and check that uh, is this working as we expected okay it's called holder name and uh, it's so uh, yes it's good adi and 424242 and you click on this process subscription and yes it's uh, processing this and it says subscription oh i forgot it to copy this and replace with this one okay so give it a refresh mm, and yes we need to hot reload this because this is the post method and uh, enter adi and enter the 42 4242 and click on this process oh it's throwing the error so i think it's not to hard reload this properly so we need to hard reload it properly and then we will send this okay it's a uh, adi and uh, and this and stuff like that so click on this process subscription and yes it's processing this and it's displaying the plan id and payment method so we need these two ones right so now the time is to go to this subscription controller and first to create the uh, create the user in the stripe and then we are going to create its a payment method and stuff like that so let me check the video size and it's going bigger so i will meet you in the next one bye bye